Christmas is the season of giving and the season of asking. Everywhere you turn, it seems someone is asking for something, you know, from toy drives and bell ringers to food donations and coat collections. And while these things are all great causes, it can be tough to know where you can draw the line. Omaha's retirement strategist Daryl Bryan is here to explain. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors and he hosts a weekly retirement radio show in Omaha that airs Saturday mornings on 1110 KFAB. And he helps folks in Omaha plan for retirement. Welcome back, Daryl. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thank you. Listen, yes. uh, we all, we all, you know, give to charities this time of year sure. and hopefully throughout the year. But, yep. you know, when it comes to retirement and giving, where should we draw the line and, and make sure that you're giving responsibly without putting yourself in jeopardy? Yeah, and kind of getting thrown off track. You know, w whether we're working with retirees or non-retirees, everybody has a budget, right? Yeah. So when it comes into the season, it's, it's the season of giving and, and we want to give and our hearts are very soft toward the bell ringer or mm -hmm. the whomever and we want to, you know, and that's a good thing, we should take care of that. And they're certainly aware of that too, that mm -hmm. sentiment is running very high mm -hmm. and that's nothing wrong with that. And so they're trying to raise money for good causes. Um, however, you do have to kind of stay on budget and so just as you would have, whether you're pre-retired or retired, you have a budget. So just the same as you would budget in uh, gifts or golf or travel or mm -hmm. a lease payment for a car, you, a person would be prudent to budget in the amount that they're going to give to charitable you know, mm -hmm. organizations. And so right. you hit that limit and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with walking by the guy that's ringing the bell you know, at Walmart and saying, got you over there at Target, mm -hmm. you know, have a good day. And he understands that, you know, yeah. nothing wrong with doing that. I mean, it's a personal thing and, yeah. and uh, so I can't you, walk you, by the bell ringers though. I can't do, I, I can't I, do in, it anymore in, either. In and out, I make sure if I go in, I don't give it all to them the first time. So when I come out, I still have something to put so, back in. Well, they came on our show and I'm like, I feel like I have to do it. Yes, and so absolutely. I do it every time now. I'll yeah. even get cat change just to do it. You know, I maybe mean, that's a good idea. Maybe we just pattern, you know, keep some dollar <laughs> yeah, bills and just keep I know, but I, yeah. I feel so guilty. Yeah, maybe but there, the but there is a rule of thumb. What is the rule of thumb for giving and giving to charities? Um, well, I don't know if there is a rule of is thumb. There? It's such a personal yeah. thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we have clients in, our clients are generally about to retire or already retired, and they have, they are, generally they've already decided what they're going to do for um, gifting and so mm -hmm. forth. But that's a personal thing, you know, yeah. people, you know, whether you're giving to the church and there's the tithe and there's the over the tithe or the offering or you have, we can go to Wounded Warrior, we can give to the University of Nebraska, um, you know, Project Santa and the Open Door Mission. There's a million things to give to, mm -hmm. but there's no real rule of thumb. But when I have people that come in the office and they do say, no, we give X number of dollars, mm -hmm. which represents 10% of our income to church, well, that's already in their budget. They're, they already right. have it built in. Mm -hmm. so. You know, it's just a matter of thinking. The problem is with a lot of Americans and certainly a lot of Omahans is a lot of us don't even know what our budget is. You know, we know what our income is, but really, yeah. we really yeah, don't know how much point. we spend. It's very, very common, especially with people that come in our office. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, well, most retirees have a fixed income. So what's your advice to those folks when it comes to giving during the holidays? Well, stick to the budget. Yeah. You know, uh, if we've decided that we're going to give a thousand dollars to or five hundred dollars to the, you know, bell ringer or the whomever, then know when to say no, and it's right. okay to walk by the guy, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, and say, you know, I, I got you last time, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right. And so, and and you did. So there's no shame in that. And but but stick to your budget. Know what you're going to do. It's in the budget. Stay with it. Don't overspend on gifts. Yeah. If you're going to spend seventy-five dollars per kid. Well, that would be one thing for as far as staying within your budget at the holidays. Mm -hmm. And then for gifting, well, I've already done that. And there's, you have a clear conscience, you know, you're following your own, um, you know, conscience and. Mm -hmm. you yeah, but <coughs> you know, how do you incorporate, you're talking about the budget, but sure. for retirees, it, you really need to stick to a budget because you mm -hmm. don't have as much income coming in, sure. probably. And it's probably fixed. It's probably fixed. Mm -hmm. So how do you incorporate that charity component into your budget? How do you, how do you? Well, same that? thing, right? Here's, here's what we have coming in. Here's what we have for bills. Here's what's left over. There should be some discretionary stuff there, right? Mm -hmm. So how much are we willing to give to charities or anything else? But mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep your, you know, nose above the water line. You can't go under just mm -hmm. because it's time. And there's more than one way to give. You don't have to just give with money. What about giving with time mm -hmm. and sure. so forth, Absolutely. like, like yeah. we like to do at the at the office? Yes, and I wanted to talk to you about that. How are you guys incorporating that into your finances? Well, we love to do it. As a matter of fact, last night we were down at the Open Door Mission. Uh, oh, that's last year. Um, we were down there last year at the Open Door Mission, Project Santa, and you get an opportunity to go down there and bag up toys, and it's really mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we were back there, as a matter of fact, just last night. 
Um, we also have a pretty neat thing coming up um, this Saturday. We're doing a client appreciation event mm -hmm. at Star Wars. So we have the the uh, uh, Majestic Theater, mm -hmm. and we have a theater there, and a bunch of clients are coming, probably 500 clients or so. And But what we're doing there is we are teaming with the American Cancer Society, and we're raising money for that, and we're, we're actually matching dollar for dollar uh, the donations at the um, at that event, Star Wars. Oh, in other words, Star Wars yes. event, the premiere. Clients yeah. are going to be there. We're going we got them in a, we got them captive. So we're mm -hmm. going to say, get your wallet out. You <laughs> yeah, know? Sure. And then we're going to we're going to match uh, dollar for dollar. Very enticing. Uh, for a bit, and then we actually have another entity who is matching another fifty cents on that. So That's when great. our clients come, bring your checkbook and write a check to the American Cancer Society. Know that we're going to match it. Plus, so it's a hundred and fifty percent match mm. at that event. So there's a, a number of ways you can do that. Could yeah. be time. Could be this sort of thing, but it's a season of giving, and so. And in that it. case, stretching the dollar a little bit farther to the ghost of those charities as well. Mm -hmm. If you're in Absolutely. retirement, or if you're ready, already retired, have an income plan is really the best way to know how much you can afford to give each year. And if you, you don't know what you have coming in, you won't know how much you can afford to go out, mm -hmm. essentially. So if you'd like Daryl and his team at D. Bryant Retirement Strategies to build you a custom income plan, you can give the office a call right now. The offer is complimentary to the first 10 callers. And Daryl, those go kind of fast sometimes, don't they? They go very quickly. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an amazing thing how many people have a lot of questions mm -hmm. about getting tuned up for retirement and getting me out the door confidently. Yeah, so pick sure. up that phone, 402-932-2141, or go to dbryantretirementstrategies.com. Thanks, Daryl. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Have a great week. Yep. Uh,